Today we're looking at the War of 1812 and the burning of Washington. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com for resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. The War of 1812 was a somewhat confusing conflict between the young American nation and the British. There were many causes of the war, some of which were not even factors by the time the war began. In June of 1812, America declared war on Britain. However, the British were far too occupied with fighting Napoleon in Europe to truly devote much attention to America. So in the meantime, while Britain was fighting Napoleon, the Americans decided to invade British-controlled Canada. On April 27, 1813, American forces attacked and burned the Canadian capital of York, which is present-day Toronto. Now, despite not being fully able to engage the Americans, the British did begin to direct naval attacks against Americans in the Chesapeake Bay area under the command of Admiral George Cockburn. Cockburn had had a relative killed in the American Revolution and was basically out for revenge against the Americans. It isn't until a year later, in April of 1814, that the British and Napoleon signed a treaty to stop fighting. So now the British could direct their troops and attention towards America that had declared war on them almost two years earlier. August 19, 1814, 4,500 British troops under the command of British General Robert Ross arrive at Benedict, Maryland, barely 40 miles southeast of Washington, D.C., and begin to march towards the capital. The next day, on August 20th, a scouting party led by future President James Monroe spot the British approaching. The Americans organize a defense on the outskirts of Washington at a place called Bladensburg, Maryland. Here, 6,000 American troops were dug in and ready for the approaching 4,500 British. Since the Americans had the numeric advantage and are, were fortified, one would think they would easily win a victory. But instead, on August 24th, 1814, the British attack and easily defeat the Americans in one of the worst American defeats in military history. Within minutes of the first shot being fired, Americans began to retreat and run for Washington, D.C., barely six miles away. This retreat became known as the Bladensburg Races, as the British easily pushed right through the Americans. You have to remember, these were battle-hardened British troops that had fought Napoleon and the French, who were some of the best troops in the world at the time, and the Americans barely put up a fight. Now the way was clear for the British to march right into Washington, D.C. President James Madison had ridden out to see the battle, and he sent word back to Washington to evacuate the city. The entire city was thrown into pandemonium. Important documents such as the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution were stuffed into saddlebags and, and ridden out into the countryside. The First Lady, Dolly Madison, was at the White House and is one of the last to evacuate as she insisted that she remain there until the portrait of George Washington, painted by Gilbert Stewart in 1796, was removed. Just as the sun was going down on August 24th, the British began to march into the city and Dolly Madison boarded her carriage along with the painting and barely escaped. The British troops bust into the Capitol building and held a mock session of Congress in which they voted unanimously to burn the building, basically in revenge for the Americans burning York a few years earlier. They pile all the chairs and desks in, in the two chambers and set them on fire. Then they marched down to the White House and they broke in, stealing whatever they could find as souvenirs. They even took love letters that James Madison had written to Dolly. They then set the White House on fire as well as several other government buildings. It is said that you could see the glow of the fires from miles away around Washington. And that night, the British camped on Capitol Hill near the burning Capitol building. The next morning, August 25th, 1814, they then set fire to the Navy Yard and Library of Congress. But by around noon, dark clouds began to build in the sky, and at two o'clock in the afternoon, something surreal occurs. A hurricane strikes the city. Sheets of rain, lightning, and wind tear through the city, extinguishing many of the still-burning fires. Reports are that a tornado came down in the middle of Washington, blowing down trees and picking up British artillery and throwing it dozens of yards away. In fact, the British troops experienced more casualties or soldiers wounded from the storm than they did from the Battle of Bladensburg the day before. The storm raged for two hours and literally forced the British to retreat out of the city and they never set foot in Washington again. 
Three days later, James Madison and the citizens of Washington returned to the city finding the, the burnout shells of these government buildings. Madison actually held a cabinet meeting in the post office because it was the only government building still standing. James and Dolly Madison would, would never live in the White House again. The reconstruction of it wouldn't be complete until James Monroe was president. Despite being pushed out of Washington, the British were not defeated, as now they turned their attention to the harbor city of Baltimore, but that's for another bell ringer. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.